Woohoo! Here is my shipping container. Alright, so here we are. Got the fence material right here. So we're just dropping this off today. Tomorrow will be where uh, the container driver is going to be dropping off the 40 foot container. It's going to be right here and right where that cow is. This is what happens when you put in some uh, stakes to define boundaries. The cattle have immediately start using it as a scratching rod. So here we're removing some of the brush uh, so that we can get the shipping container delivered through the front fence. We're going to open that fence up uh, so they can get through. I'm meeting the guy, the driver, uh, at 10 a.m. this morning to uh, drop it off. I have to actually uh, extend the entrance so that the big container and the truck can fit through. I don't think my chainsaw is ever consistent. Fortunately, I have my trusty backup. So I have one post pulled up right now, and then I have another two posts that I need to pull up also. So a complication I have is uh, cattle. We have... Uh, two tracks at the back that we purchased and there's eight tracks it's all open I haven't put the fence in yet and uh, we have uh, there's free roaming cattle around here and so I got to be careful not to uh, have this open to where they to where they can get out <laughs> all right so here comes the shipping container and this is actually uh, purchased this through Go Containers here in San Antonio. The cost of the container, the total cost was $3,436. The actual cost of the container, the base price is $2,850. And then there is a delivery charge of $325 and then you have a tax of $261. So that is the total cost, $3,436. It's a 40 foot used container. It's got some wear and so forth, but it's structurally sound. And so it has a plenty of space inside of the container to store items. So I'm gonna be putting the shipping container to the back of the land, very close to where my RV is gonna be located. And that'll make it easy access to get anything that I need out of the container when I need it. One item that I badly need is an ATV. I have a two-wheel drive a Highlander right now and an ATV would really help when it's muddy out on this land. This land, typically it's really dry out here on the land. Uh, there's not much rain, but when it rains, this ground gets just super muddy. Uh, there's no way that I can drive my two-wheel drive on the land uh, when it's like that. So when I put in my gravel road, I'm going to have a little bit of gravel road inside of my main part of my land. I'll park my Highlander there and just walk to the container. I'll have my ATV there and I'll be able to get around on the ATV. Some of the other plans I have for this container include a staircase, which I'm going to build on the side of the container to allow me to step up to the top of the container and I'm going to build myself a deck and I thought it would be really cool to have a deck up on top of the shipping container uh, maybe with some railing and that way you know at night maybe I could go out there and look at the stars maybe put a couple cots up there lie down look up at the stars not have to worry about insects getting at you so that's that's my plan uh you'll see that possibly in a future video where i'm actually building the staircase and the uh, deck that's <laughs> crushing the hell out of it so the weight of the shipping container pretty much crushed the oh, yeah 
concrete pavers that I have underneath there. I have two on each side there. Pretty much cracked it, but uh, it does support the weight. It's a uh, it's a lot of weight. A shipping container like this, a 40 foot shipping container, weighs 8,000 pounds. So quite a bit of weight that's being put on those concrete pavers. All right, and he is gone. So here's a look at the inside of the container. You can see there's a lot of space in here. What I was thinking of doing is maybe putting a shelving system in here. I do want to put some of my food supplies in here. Again, I'm going to put my ATV in here when I get it. I've got a lot of other equipment that I'm going to be putting in here and it probably won't even fill it halfway. It's a lot of space and it's inside safe and dry on the land that's easy to access. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something from it. You can also check out the other videos on my channel and see what I'm up to. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next video.